Hi, my name is Caroline Engstrom, and I'm a junior at Stuyvesant High School in Manhattan. In most ways, I'm like other girls my age. My friends and I spend time in Union Square, at the farmer's market, in cafes, or wandering through bookstores and boutiques like Supreme or Glossier. And like many of them, I'm learning how to play an instrument. Mine is the violin, which I absolutely love. I plan to go to college, though I'm not sure how selective a school I'll get into. I'm not at the very top of my class. That honor goes to my friend Noreen. And there's at least one boy who usually edges me out too, which probably puts me in third place, but who's counting? In one way, though, I'm different from most of my friends. I'm endlessly curious. Everywhere I look, I notice things I don't fully understand. The moon hangs in the sky. Why does it circle Earth without falling? And why does the same face always point towards us? Airplanes soar overhead. Why don't they drop? I know it has something to do with speed and air pressure, but those words just feel like placeholders for real understanding. Even my spinning top feels like a minor miracle. It stays upright as long as it spins fast enough. And the sky, blue at noon, red at sunset, why does its color change? Music too. When my mom sings the same note I play on my violin, why does it sound so different? Questions tumble out of me without end. Sometimes I think I drive my parents crazy, but they're patient. When their explanations don't satisfy me, especially when I keep pressing with why, they usually say, ask your uncle or ask your aunt, depending on the subject. You're probably wondering who they are. Well, let me give you some background. My dad began college as a physics major with a minor in music, but eventually chose music full time. My mom earned a degree in aerospace engineering, but now she works on Wall Street, advising people on stocks and bonds. I have no idea how she decides what to recommend, and she hasn't yet given me a clear explanation, though I keep pressing. She once told me that computers can be trained to recognize how stocks and bonds shift under different conditions and then generate advice. She added that I need advanced statistics to really understand it, which only makes me more eager to learn. My dad's younger brother, my uncle Zach, stuck with physics all the way through a PhD in theoretical plasma physics. Don't ask me what plasma physics is. All I know is that he's now a staff scientist at the Los Alamos National Lab working on nuclear fusion, which people say might one day solve the world's energy problems. Sounds important. And then there's my aunt Zoe, my mom's sister, who has a PhD in cell biology. Until recently, she taught at Bates College in Lewiston, Maine, but now she's doing research at NYU. The gossip is that there's practically no single men in small town Lewiston. Sometimes I wonder about those two, my aunt and my uncle, I mean, whether their relationship goes beyond the usual in-law bond. But that's another story. And besides, they live 2,000 miles apart. When I was younger, I thought it was strange that my dad and uncle both majored in physics even though their father, my grandfather, was a plumber with only vocational training in high school. I used to think that scientists and professors had to come from highly educated families. How naive I was. Once, when our toilet clogs, my grandfather poured a large bucket of water into the tank, and the bowl flushed perfectly. He explained not only why that worked, but also how the tank refills itself after each flush. Just as fascinating was something I saw at my other grandfather's house. My mom's father, who has Greek roots, makes wine every year. After the wine ferments in a barrel, he bottles it using a long rubber tube. He puts one end into the barrel, sucks briefly to start the flow, and lowers the other end into a bottle. The wine flows up the tube and then down into the bottle, and keeps going on its own. When I asked my science teacher, she explained that once the liquid begins to move, gravity pulls it downwards, and the weight of the moving liquid keeps drawing more from the barrel. At the time, it seemed like magic. The truth is, I learned from everyone, my aunt and uncle, their colleagues, my parents, my friends, especially Noreen, and even my grandparents. Our conversations are never neatly organized. They leap from science, to poetry, to ethics, to music, to who knows what, but I love the variety. With such a mix of influences, I sometimes wonder what I'll eventually become. And yes, sometimes I even wonder whether my aunt and uncle will end up together, assuming I'm right about them. But as my half-Sicilian mother always says, que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be.